Alright, today I will be demonstrating the Wii Fitness RNG Minip used in Wii Fitness runs because without it, it's pretty impossible to get any kind of good time unless you get insanely lucky to get these exact games. So first you want to use a fresh me uh, that you've never used before. I think you can use a guest me as well, but it's, I don't know, just using a, f a fresh me you created like this abomination right here. It's always a little more fun. Alright, so you add it to the players list. Alright, and you'll have to play through the first fitness test. So you'll have to play returning balls, picking up spares, and hitting home runs. So I'll pretty much just go through this. Unfortunately, I can't just pause and skip. I mean, I could cut all this out, but I'm a bit lazy, so... I'll just provide a time you can skip to. Unless you want to just sit here but, and watch me very poorly play this. Normally I'm good at returning balls, but not when I'm just sitting on my ass. This also isn't normal returning balls, but the more you hit in a row, uh, the better your fitness age will be. It's also a little faster, because the faster uh, once you just starts hitting them more rapidly, if you start doing good in an attempt to make you mess up. It's not terribly hard if you're trying to get at least, you know, 48, 49 of the 50. You might make a mistake here and there. You're probably gonna hit the net pretty soon. That's what happens when I play tennis sitting down. Or I can swing really weird and have it pop up. Which I guess works. You know. Might go 50 for 50. Okay, she's hitting them real weak. Alright, and there you go. Finished the first game. These next two I'm just gonna play as fast as possible, so I'm just going to get a bunch of gutter balls here. I'm not going to make it go on for any longer than it needs to. want to go in the gutter. And then hitting home runs, I'm just going to let um, all the pitches go right by me. Play ball. Ooh, yucky. Helen. An underhander. I just want to remake this tutorial because... My old one was recorded on phone cam. It wasn't the best, I didn't explain everything as clear as possible. But I mean, it's, it's not too difficult to understand, I'm sure. You can still grasp the concept. But this one will just look a lot nicer. Alright, and now you've finished the first, but do not exit out yet. You don't want to exit out of the test early, you have to play through all the games and get your age and all that, or else the minip might not work. Alright, so, 59. <clears throat> Alright, now what you want to do, go to training games. You should have a nunchuck on hand. You want to play only, and I mean only, play target practice, um, spin control, and one of the boxing ones, either working the bag or throwing punches, it doesn't matter. All right, I, you only need one point, or I only think you actually have to play it. You can just quit out. But make sure you only play these training games or else it'll mess up the minip. I'm just gonna get one point and then I'll just fail. 
working the bag. It's just the most commonly one used one. Dodging, it will be 10 seconds slower because the dodging timer is weird and kind of broken. It doesn't matter how good you do here, so I'm just gonna throw a little bit of hands. It's pretty much waiting for the timer to run out. Oh, a warning, when you are doing your fitness game, do not play this game like normal, because it'll add... So, in working the bag, the more punches you do, like the more bags you knock out, it causes lag frames and basically adds time onto the timer. And it can, especially in a very short run like Wii Fitness, it adds up quick. Like if you get about 40 points, 4 seconds will be added onto the timer, just through lag. Yeah, so make sure to not do that. No warn everyone again in case they skip to this part, whatever time I said to skip to. Skip 20. Then I'll take out the nunchuck. You earned a bronze medal! Alright, so, now that we're done all the training games, we go to the main menu. And now you gotta head to the Wii menu. You pretty much, all you have to do is put your calendar forward a day, so that you get a whole new set of uh, fitness tests. So you can, I mean, you can only do one a day, but it's one a day for every character. Though it won't be, obviously, you'll, you can only set up the RNG Manip on um, as many characters as you do the Manip on. But if you do it on one character, it won't just magically be on every character. So I'll move to the third. As far as I know, there's no difference with the Manip in between 1.00 and 1.01. Go back to Wii Fitness. Alright, and now your speedrun will start on your A press right here when you select start. So you should have a nunchuck right on hand because obviously at least one game will be boxing, so you gotta start. Yes, you are able to use the nunchuck. If you select no, it'll ruin pretty much your whole run. And it'll just ruin the manip. Alright, I'm just demonstrating how to do a speed run right now. Alright, target practice is the literally the game that decides how good your run is. It's okay though. Alright. And now, plug the nunchuck in and do work in the back. The games will be in completely random order, though during speed runs, so splits won't be very useful. But, nah. Alright, and that's pretty much the whole tutorial. I mean, from here, it's just. The ending of the run is when your fitness age appears on screen. So, I mean, you should pretty much get, like, around, like, I don't know, 220 ish at worst. I mean, it's, I mean, some people, for, for some people, target practice is pretty tough. But, yeah, around 220, 225, I think, is the worst that you could get, unless you're really bad at throwing the bowling ball. Remember not to punch the bag here, because it'll add time onto the timer, because of lag. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay thick and safe, everybody. Thanks for watching.